up, YouTube? Got a yo-yo review to do today. This is the Motor City Yo-Yo's mitten. Here's the cool box with the box art and what have you. The mitten by Motor City Yo-Yo's. Uh, so I've been excited about this yo-yo for a long time. Uh, this came to me from uh, my friend Chris, who has been he did he did these, he did the the throws and brews and the zipline vinyl stickers that you see behind my head in every video. And uh, Chris is a cool dude, and he's been designing this yo-yo for a while. And he told me I've been excited about it basically since he sent me the CAD pictures and stuff, and I got to see sort of how it evolved and where it came from and this is finally it this is this isn't the final version the final version is going to have sort of a rounded over see how it's a little sharp at the at the edge there that's going to be rounded over just slightly to make it a little bit softer on the catch but otherwise this is exactly what the final is going to look like this is just a prototype i do have to send him this back but i've been playing with it for about a week and i love it so before we start talking about how it plays Let's uh, let's get into the specs of it real quick. So the weight is 65.2 grams, and this is a mono metal. This is a 6061 mono metal, uh, so super lightweight, which is cool. Uh, the width is 43.68 millimeters, and the diameter is 54.39 millimeters. Uh, gap width is 4.68 millimeters, which is a pretty big gap. Uh, got an 8 millimeter axle and uh, 19 millimeter pads, uh, and it is 6061 aluminum. So like I said, I've been very excited about this yo-yo since Chris first showed me combo throws, first showed me the pictures. Um, Motor City Yo-Yos is a very new company. This is going to be their first release, and I really think they nailed it. This is going to be a yo-yo that is going to feel familiar, but you're going to really like. Um, just as far as how much I like it is concerned, I like it about as much as the cappuccino, which those of you would know, the Throw Cafe cappuccino, I like very much. I love it. Uh, I like this just as much. I like sort of weird shapes that really only small companies can do. And this is a very familiar type of shape, but it's also got some interesting little cuts there that we'll get into. And it, I would compare it to, well, not that the shape is similar, but I would compare it to how much I like the Throw Cafe Cappuccino. So a very cool yo-yo in that regard. Um, as far as the shape itself is concerned, it is... This nice sort of organic H shape, uh, a shape that I am very fond of. Here it is next to the uh, Smashing Yo-Yo's Interlagos. As you can see, some similarities there in shape. There's a few more cuts to sort of almost make it a little more V-shaped in the middle there, but kind of cut and round out the middle. Um, the cup, however, has a similar sort of dimple up sort of like a bump up to facilitate a longer axle and remove some center weight, but still give you that sort of finger spin cup if you hit it dead center. The thing I like about this though too is that even there's like, it's kind of nice around as well to sort of finger spin around the pushed up dimple. So even if you don't hit it dead center, like you could still finger spin around this and it works really well either way. So I kind of was, I kind of really like that. I was sort of like, Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like these push-ups because I don't really try to hit the dead center when I finger spin. I kind of like to do it on an angle a little bit. But this sort of facilitates both. So you can get really long finger spins if you want to do the dead center thing. Or you can do that thing where it just kind of rotates around the side and catch it that way, which is kind of how I like to do it. So, I mean, really good both ways. So he's sort of really made the best of both worlds as far as his cup is concerned. I really, really like it. Um, it does kind of lip out a little bit and you can get thumb grinds there. Uh, I would say the most prominent feature of this yo-yo is despite it being only 65.2 grams, it's really powerful. Like when you throw it, you immediately feel like, oh, this plays like an H yo-yo. It's got a lot of power and a lot of rim weight, but it's only 65.2 grams. Like it plays light as well. So it is slightly, I wouldn't call it undersized, but it's not... It's not a huge yo-yo by any stretch of the imagination. Like here it is, like I said, next to the Interlagos. Uh, you know, similar, I guess, size to that. Um, this isn't a huge yo-yo either. So, but having it down at 65.2 grams is, I, I think, a, a definite win. And he definitely used every bit of that 65.2 grams. Or Moto City Yo-Yos used every bit of that 65.2 grams to its utmost like perfection. So 
Definitely a cool design and something I've been having a blast with. But let's go throw it around a little bit and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys, we are back with the Motor City Yo-Yo's Mitten. Uh, gotta say, love it. Uh, I'm a little bit biased because I really like this shape. But if this type of shape appeals to you, this yo-yo will appeal to you. I assure you. So let's go over the technical or objective things, I suppose. The grind finish is very nice. It's very much sort of the same type of grind finish that uh, Yo-Yo Factory was sort of using. That sort of like shinier bead blast finish um, from like 2013. I have a Too Hot that has a similar finish and I really like the finish. It's a good finish. It's good for grinds. And uh, it looks nice, which is good. The colors are going to be this orange. Uh, I do believe Motor City Yoyas is going to be using this orange uh, as one of the release colors. And that's going to be great. I think this is actually going to be the only solid color is this orange. And this orange is great. It's vibrant. It shows up really well on camera. It looks really good. Um, so I really like this orange. And then there's going to be a couple splashes. I don't know what those are going to be yet. I'm not sure if it's decided. But there's going to be those. Uh, so grind and finish great um this is just a prototype still there's a couple of little anno flaws in it but i imagine the final release is going to be flawless so yeah but uh nice and smooth quick and powerful on the string you really can feel the h power here like throwing it around and just hold it and it's still like spinning hard thumb grind lip is good you definitely get those thumb grinds in there thumb grinds really really well uh like I said about the finger spins, even if you throw it on an angle, you get some good finger spins. I didn't even hit the center there. I threw it on an angle, got a great finger spin off of it. But if you hit it on the center, you do get those super dead, just straight on finger spins. That's pretty amazing. Uh, bind's really nice. If I can hit that. Bind's really nice. And just overall, it's just a good design, man. Really, really good design. Uh, again, this is just, for being just a prototype, this thing's about 9.5 out of 10 smooth. There's just a hair, a fingernail vibe, and that just might be from it being taken apart and put back together and what have you. But very smooth yo-yo as well. Like I said, about 9.5 out of 10. Can't really even feel it on grind, so maybe that was just my throw. I like the shape too. The 54 and some change millimeter diameter is really a good a good uh, diameter for a yo-yo in my opinion because it really facilitates all kind of like little techie mounts and the string I'm using is too long. I should have cut it. But yeah, just a really good. Good yo-yo for like chopsticky stuff and whatever you want to do with it. It's good. Very stable as you can see. I'm like swinging it back and forth and tossing it and popping it and not really paying attention to the plane it's on. And uh, it doesn't seem to care. Which I appreciate. Because I don't like to pay attention when I yo-yo. And this yo-yo spins a long time. Like that came back really hard and I had it spinning for a long time. So, really good, really solid playing yo-yo. Uh, very, very overall, just what you would expect out of an H-shape, but sort of a little bit lighter and more nimble than a lot of other H-shapes. So, but retaining all of that power. So, definitely a cool design. I'm a big fan, but let's go ahead and throw it on the desk. We'll pull it apart, show you the insides, and do the pros and cons. All right, guys, we are back on the desk with the Motor City Yo-Yo's Mitten. So let's uh, let's take it apart. I'll show you guys the guts. Uh, now, I did talk with Mr. Combo Throws, Combro Throws, uh, about uh, the bearing. Not sure if this is the final bearing that's going to be going in the production run, but it is a 10-ball concave bearing. Very nice. It spins well. Uh, he he's gonna kind of look into some t maybe the uh, Tasmanian tornado bearing or something like that as well. But this one I told him is perfectly fine, no issues with it. But not sure if this is gonna be the bearing in the production run, just because he and I did have a discussion about it. 
Uh, stainless steel axle here in the middle. As you can see. Very nice. Let's say five, what do you say? Five millimeters? Six millimeters? Something like that? Eight millimeter axle. So eight millimeter axle. There, stainless steel, which is nice. Uh, the, uh, the pads are those sort of smoky silicone pads. I think this is just whatever the factory uses uh, when they do them. Pads, uh, but these are really good pads. They kind of work like uh, flowable, flowable silicone, in my opinion. Um, very good, very, very uh, good response pad. Very reliable uh, and don't seem to wear too hard. I've been playing this a lot and I know I'm not the only person to play it. And uh, it's, uh, it's, got, it's, they still look pretty new. So good response pads. As you can see, here's a better shot of sort of how the cuts go. It's sort of very like organic H here. And then it's sort of like, it's got this little scoop here. And then it almost sort of V's out uh, and directly to the response. So it makes for a very comfortable catch zone. Uh, very nice for grinds as well because it sort of removes some of that surface area for your grinds. And uh, yeah, because you kind of it kind of sits where the, the cut is. So it removes some of that surface area for your finger grinds, which is great. Kind of prolongs them a little bit, which I like a lot. Um, and just overall, I mean, just a really nice design and a really good, a really fun yo-yo. So let's do pros and cons. So pros are, uh, I like this finish. This is a good finish. Uh, I think it kind of balances between performance and looks. So you kind of get that little bit of extra shiny vibrantness. It still grinds very well. So it's sort of that balance between uh, visibility, like vibrance and performance. So good there. I would say that's, that's a pro. Um, it's, it's super light, but also super powerful. So definitely a super pro there because this is a really good design as far as that's concerned. Usually light yo-yos sometimes lack some power uh, and heavy yo-yos have power, but are a little bit heavy and clunky. But this is sort of nice and light for a mono metal and has all the power you could ever want. So really a nice yo-yo as far as weight distribution and all of that is concerned. I like that very, very much. As far as uh, being a finger spin like cup for the dead center ones that you get those and the ability to sort of finger spin around it if you don't hit it dead center, I, I think is a really nice design as well. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but just the way it panned out, there's a lot of room in there. There's really no no man's land for your finger to fall into and get stuck. It's just really works no matter how you're going to do it. The thumb grind lip is a nice addition. It kind of just cradles your thumb nicely, gives you those nice thumb grinds. I know a ton of people don't care about thumb grinds, but the fact that you could do them really with no problem on this is nice for me. There's even like just this nice little cutout for your thumb to go into. So really nice. I'm glad that really incorporates into a very good weight distribution as well. I really don't have many bad things to say, any bad things to say about it really. Uh, I think the price on these is going to be uh, $60 for the solid color, which I believe is just going to be this sort of gold orange color, or $65 for a splash is I think what they're shooting for now. I think they're trying to drop them around New Year's 2018. So you've got about two months, just under two months before the drops come out. Really, really a good yo-yo though. Definitely something you're going to want to look into. Definitely something you're going to want to get because I, I want one. I have to send this one back. This is a prototype. But I want one, and I'm going to be super excited to get one once these are ready to go because this has been one of my favorite yo-yos that anybody's ever sent me to look at and take a look at. Uh, just super cool yo-yo, super good design, and a super cool dude uh, designed them. Uh, I like the guys who are running Motor City yo-yos very much. They're friends of mine on Facebook. We talk pretty constantly, and I'm very excited to see them come out with the mitten because I've been seeing pictures of it for a couple months now. And I'm excited to finally play it because it's great. And I hope they have a lot of success with it because I'm excited to see what they do in the future. So uh, I've got all of the links in the description for Motor City Yo-Yos. Please make sure you check them out on Facebook and everything else. Uh, I will find all the links that I can, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. And it will be down in the description. So make sure you check all that out and follow them because this is definitely something you're going to want to keep an eye on because you're going to want one of these. I want one of these. It's super good. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please make sure you like and subscribe. I do videos just about every day. Literally every day. Yo-yo content. And it's about to be wintertime, so you're going to be watching a lot of YouTube. I'm going to be making a lot of YouTube. Let's be friends. Like, subscribe.
My name is Tom. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Cheers to you. This coffee's cold. I'll see you next time.